Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of Chapter 2 about the empirical rule and z-scores. The problem gives us the mean and standard deviation of a sample of farms. The mean x-bar is 1,500 and the sample standard deviation is 100. It says the data set has a bell-shaped distribution, which is a clue that it's normal or approximately normal. It says use the empirical rule to determine which of the following farms are unusual, defined as more than two standard deviations from the mean, and very unusual, more than three standard deviations of the mean. We're going to do this using basic Excel. Okay, I have an Excel workbook open with a blank worksheet, and I've hidden the uh, grid lines. You can go to View and click the grid lines on and off, and I've cleared them off here, just to make it a little bit easier to, to see. I've entered the sample mean of 1500 X bar and the sample standard deviation S of 100, and then the six values of X that we need to find the Z scores for. Remember, the Z score formula is equal to X, the value we're interested in, minus the mean, here we're using X bar, and the sample standard deviation S. Now remember, you can also use the population parameters, which would be mu instead of x bar and sigma instead of s. But here we have a sample information, so we use x bar and s. I'm going to click in this first yellow cell, and my color notation is important. I use a light blue to tell me that's just raw data I've typed into a cell. I use light yellow to say that's a cell where I have a formula. And we enter formulas by clicking in the cell, hit equal to start entering the formula here. We want to put this formula in and we need to tell Excel to do this subtraction before it does division. Remember there's an order of operations that Excel will follow like you had to learn in high school. Here we use parentheses to guide Excel. I want to open up. I'm going to click on my X value there in B5. I'm going to subtract my mean x value up there in B1. Now I want to be able to copy this formula down so I can complete this spreadsheet more quickly. And I'm going to use a function key, the F4, function F4. Well, I've got that B1 selected. And it enters the dollar signs before the column and the row designator and that makes this an absolute reference which means I can drag the formula down and it will always refer back up here to cell B1. So I want to close that part with a close parentheses. I want to divide by hitting the slash and I want to divide by my standard deviation in B2 and again we use the function F4 function F4 to convert that to an absolute reference that I can click enter and I want to show you how to, we can then drag it down because we've got those absolute references. I'm going to just click in that cell, get my cursor over to the black plus, and then I can drag down to copy that formula, and it copies it all the way down. And you can see as we go down, it changes the first cell, B6 is now X2, that's a relative reference, but the absolute cells were locked and didn't change. One final thing I want to show you here, I'm going to expose those formulas to help me remember, equal, start typing F-O-R-M for formula, and Excel will offer up formula text, which is what I want. I'm going to double click that to enter it. I need to give it the cell reference. I'm going to use this one here to the left and just hit enter. Now I've got the formula in that cell, and I can just drag that formula down to expose the other five formulas to help me remember what's in those cells. Okay, now let's look at this. The first z-score for 1331 is minus 1.69. If I look over here on my empirical chart, which shows 68% with the one standard deviation, 95 within two standard deviations, 99.7 within three standard deviations, minus 1.69 would be somewhere in here. That's 1331, which is not more than two standard deviations, so that's not unusual. 1787 is over here, and you always should draw a sketch. 
that's more than two standard deviations, obviously, as we can tell by our z-score. So that is unusual. If I go down here, I can find 1120, which is minus 3.8, which is way over here on the very, very small left side, way beyond three standard deviations from the mean. So that is unusual too. So I hope this helps. Learn to use basic Excel. It can go a lot faster than this video that I've been trying to show you. And then you can, by formatting and labeling this and then saving your form your Excel workbook with a good name, you can reuse this the next time you need to find Z-scores. So I hope this helps.